In this video, we're going to talk about another way of visualizing data called the histogram. Histogram, which is a very fancy word for a not so fancy thing. And I think it's probably fair to say that the histogram is the most used way of representing statistical data. And let me just show you how to figure out a histogram for some data, and I think you're going to get the point pretty easily. So I have some data here, and I want to represent it with a histogram. And what we're going to see is how frequent are each of these numbers. And in order to figure that out, let me just write the numbers down, and let me just categorize them in their respective buckets. So I have a. 1 here, so I have 1, 1 right there. I have a 4, let me put, so I want to leave space for the 2, the 3, and put a 4 there. I have a 2, that 2. I have a 1, let me put that 1 on a stack right above that 1. I have a 0, let me put the 0 to the left of the 1, I want to put them in order. I have a 2, another 2, let me stack that above my first 2. I have another 1. Let me stack that above my other two ones. I have another 0. Let me stack it there. I have another 1. Another 1 right there. Then I have another 2. Another 2. Another 1. Another 1. I have two more zeros. 0, 0. I have two more 2s. Two more 2s. I have a 3. I have a 3. I have two more 1s. Two more ones, another three, and then I have a six. So no fives, and then I have a six. And that space right there was unnecessary. But right here, I've listed, I've just rewritten these numbers, and I've essentially categorized them. Now, what I want to do is calculate how many of each of these numbers we have. So let me, let me go down here. So I want to look at the frequency of each of these numbers the frequency of each of these numbers. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4 zeros. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 ones. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 twos. I have 1, 2, 3s. I have 1, 4, and 6, and sorry, and 1, 6. So we could write it this way. We could write the number, the number, and then we can have the frequency the frequency. And so I have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. We can even throw 5 in there, although 5 has a frequency of 0. And we have a 6. So the 0 showed up 4 times in this data set. 1 showed up 7 times in this data set. 2 showed up 5 times. 2 showed up 5 times. 3 showed up 2 times. 4 showed up one time, 5 didn't show up, and 6 showed up one time. So all I did is I, I counted this data set. I mean, I did this first, but you could say, how many times do I see a 0? I see it 1, 2, 3, 4 times. How many times do I see a 1? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 times. That's what we mean by frequency. Now, a histogram is really just a plot, a kind of a bar graph, plotting the frequency of each of these numbers. It's going to look a lot like this original thing that I drew. So let me draw some axes here. So the different buckets here are the numbers. And that worked out because we're dealing with very clean integers that tend to repeat. If you're dealing with things that are more, uh, that aren't just, you know, that the exact number doesn't repeat, oftentimes people will put the numbers into buckets or ranges. But here they fit into nice little buckets. So you have the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. This is the actual numbers. And then on the vertical axis, we're going to plot the frequency. We're going to plot the frequency. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that's 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So 0 shows up 4 times. So we'll draw a little bar graph here. 0 shows up 4 times. Draw it just like that. 0 four shows up four times. That is that information right there. 1 shows up seven times. 1 shows up seven times. So I'll do a little bar graph. 1 shows up seven times, just like that. 1 shows, I want to make it a little bit straighter than that. 1 shows up seven times. 1 shows up seven times. 2 
2, I'll do it in a different color. 2 shows up 5 times. 2 shows up 5 times. Do a bar graph, go all the way up to 5. 2 shows up 5 times. 3 shows up 2 times. 3 shows up exactly 2 times here. We have 1, 3, 2, 3's. 4 shows up 1 time here. So 4 shows up 1 time. 5 doesn't show up at all. 5 doesn't show up at all. So we could even, you know, doesn't even get any height there. And then finally, finally, 6 shows up. 6 shows up 1 time. So I'll do 6 showing up 1 time. What I just plotted here, this is a histogram. This right here is a histogram. Very fancy word, but I think you will agree it's a fairly simple idea. Figure out the frequency of each of these numbers, and then plot the frequency of each of these numbers, and you get yourself a histogram.